Hey guys, Max again here with another Season of Discovery video. We're, this time we're talking about the new upcoming Mage Ruins for Phase 2. We're jumping right in. Uh, we're going to talk about the belt first. First up is Frostfire Bolt. Uh, if you've played a Mage in the past, you kind of know what this is. It's essentially a, a, um, a Fireball and a Frost Bolt mixed into one. And uh, it also takes into account um, spell damage uh, for Frost and Fire. So if you have like a Frost increased damage shoulder and a fire increase belt uh they'll both work for the same ability so really cool uh the next one is hot strike or hot streak excuse me this one's really fun i remember doing this uh back in classic with my mage all anytime you score two non-periodic spell critical hits in a row with like fireball frost bolt or excuse me fireball frost fire blast scorch or living bomb your next pyro blast is uh instant cast so you just it, you just launch it. It's really fun. Really good one there. Missile Barrage. This one's really cool. Uh, gives you your Arcane Blast a 40% chance and your Fireball and Frostbolt spells a 20% chance to reduce the channel duration of your next Arcane Missile by 50%. It makes it free, 100% free, and the missiles fire at half a second. So anytime you've seen a mage just launching a bunch of, of um, arcane missiles in, uh, in the other classic versions of the game, that's what this is essentially. So getting it at a level 40, really fun. And then the last uh, belt uh, rune is Spell Frost Bolt. This is essentially kind of like the, uh, the Frostfire Bolt, but this time it's Frost and Arcane. Um, and you can mix and match with the... Um, the uh, spell power uh, buffs on the specific types of gear with that, and it also slows the target by 40%. Moving on to boots, brain freeze. Uh, your frost spells, uh, frost damage spells with chilling effects have a 15% chance to cause your next fireball, spell frost bolt, or frost fire bolt spell to be cast, instant cast, and cost no mana. It's so really, really good there. Uh, chronostastic preservation. Uh, this was the healing one, I think. Yeah, this one heals the target. Um, you can hold this uh, energy for up to 15 seconds before it combusts and expires. When unleashed, heals a friendly target uh, for a math problem. Uh, this spell is considered arcane, fire, and frost with interactions with other spells, talents, and effects. This looks to be kind of like a uh, store up some energy and then hit a target with a big heal kind of deal. So a little love for the mages. Really curious to see how that plays out. Uh, and then there's one more boot one. We're going to scoot down here. They put the, the, another boot one down here at the bottom. It's just called Spell Power. Increases your, or your critical strike bonus of all your spells by 50%. So just if you want just straight up damage, there you go. So moving back up to the bracers. Uh, this, <laughs> this one was pretty funny. Bale Fire Bolt. So uh, kind of like the Frost Fire Bolt and the Spell Fire Bolts and, and things like that. Increase your reality distorting burst of raw magic at your enemy doing a math problem of Spell Fire Damage. Each time you cast this Bale Fire Bolt, the damage of the next one is increased by 10%, and this lasts for 30 seconds. But your spirit is uh, your spirit will be decreased by 10% for 30 seconds, so, and this stacks up to 10 times. So you can get up to 100% increased damage on this Bale Fire Bolt, and you can drop your spirit all the way to zero. <laughs> But if you reach, if your spirit reaches zero as a consequence, you immediately die. Can't do this, man. I'm playing my mage, and on my raid team, I'm, I'm going to troll my buddies with this. I'm just going to die and just blame the healers. What happened? <laughs> really funny. Really excited to see that. Um, next bracer is displacement. Teleports you back to where you last cast Blink from and resets the cooldown on Blink. Um, I could see this uh, being used in PvE situations on a raid boss or something like that, but this, this, this looks like a big PvP uh, deal for the mages. I'm really excited to see that on the playing field. Actually, maybe not. I'm a warrior, so that's not good. Uh, molten armor. This is pretty common uh, for mages. Uh, if you've played them for a while, you know what this is. Just a, just an armor uh, spell. It gives you 5% crit chance and then 5% uh, less damage. chance Less chance to be critically hit. Yep. Um, so good one there for the bracers. And then moving on to the helm. Deep freeze. This stuns the target for 5 seconds. Only usable on frozen targets. And then it does uh, also damage on targets that are permanently immune to stun. Uh, so maybe like a raid boss or something like that. So got that option for the helm. Temporal, temporal anomaly. This one's kind of interesting. It essentially launches an orb forward, and then any of your pals that are in the raid uh, or group um, are near this. They get a two-second um, bubble, kind of like a, a holy shield or a power word shield from a priest. So a little more love for the um, the healer priest or healer mages there. 
And that's it. Uh, there was only two uh, home ones on this one. So that's all the mage ruins for the upcoming phase two that we know of so far. I'm really curious to hear from you in the comment section down below. Post what your favorite uh, ruin for the mages upcoming uh, this uh, phase is. I've also started uh, streaming on Twitch. I'll put the link down in the description below. I'd love to have you over there and, and banter and goof off in the chat while I stream some fun games. Uh, also, uh, a special request here, if you could, please uh, consider subscribing to the channel. I am locked out of some YouTube features for example, I can't do the timestamps in the playlist. So when I do the bigger videos, I'm a little hindered by that. So I need uh, more subscriptions to be able to unlock other features. So if you're interested in learning more about this type of content, please subs uh, uh, subscribe. And then lastly, there's a, a like button right below the video. If you feel like I deserve that, uh, hit that. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in the next one.